He may be one of the most influential and inspiring figures in cinema, but that didn't happen overnight. Far from it. Downey Jr.'s life has been a roller coaster of ups and downs, with heavy substance abuse and legal troubles plaguing his youth. But somehow, he went from forgotten star and prison inmate to arguably the most integral Avenger in the MCU, one of the most successful franchises of all time. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today, we're taking a look at the tragic life of Robert Downey Jr. From as young as eight years old, Downey claims that he was addicted to drugs. Introduced to drugs when he was just six years old by his father, who was a movie director, he says he was constantly surrounded by marijuana and cocaine. And at the time, taking drugs with his father was a way they bonded together. Downey states that he felt like it was his father's way of trying to express his love for him. Have you experienced that desperate need for validation from your father? Well, I mean, my I'm dad... I'm chuckling, but it's actually a very serious thing that we do. No, 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 thing please. That we deal well, it's with, so right? serious, yeah. we should just laugh out loud about it. Not only would Downey sit at home and take whatever drugs were available, but he would also drink heavily and find himself making nonstop phone calls into the night in the pursuit of procuring even more drugs. And if anybody, Trevor, doesn't like it, there's the dog. Oh! Appearing in a number of his father's movies, Downey eventually went on to study acting as a teenager. And following his mother and father's divorce, he dropped out of high school and moved to New York to pursue an acting career. Hey, Dane! Where's the bar? Bar! And things started out pretty well for him, with appearances in movies like Weird Science helping earn him an audition and spot on the legendary Saturday Night Live sketch show. Unfortunately, Downey's stint on the show came at a particularly bad time, and the 1985 season he starred in was regarded as one of the worst in the show's history. It did seem to have a certain, uh, certain, <laughs> but quality to it that kind of detracted from the brilliant prose. Michael? As a result, most of the cast was fired and replaced. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> It is my pressure to meet you. Around this time, Downey was dating actress Sarah Jessica Parker, who, according to Downey's father, would help keep his wild side restrained. The late 80s were a huge highlight of his movie career, with praised performances in Less Than Zero and Chances Are. Thank you. Uh, I, this is too great. Julian, consider it a graduation gift. Fact is, I never thought we'd get this far. <laughs> Um, I'm speechless. However, even though he was having success in his acting career, he was still very much tackling drug addiction. What's wrong? Come on, man. Do I look like something's wrong? In fact, in 1988, his then-manager Lori Rodkin forced him into rehab, only for him to come out of rehab and fire her, angered at the idea of being put there in the first place. But in the 90s, Downey's downward spiral got worse and worse. Although he would sometimes get clean for a few months and was starring and impressing in more and more movies, even earning an Oscar nod for his role in Chaplin, he would ultimately slump back into his old ways. Why else? Charlie, you serious? Sarah Jessica Parker split with him due to his drug abuse, he was arrested several times, and he was even found curled up in a bed, practically naked, in his neighbor's house. What's in here? Bill, Bill, don't snoop, Bill. Don't snoop. Why not? You respect their privacy. Why not snoop around with their hot fudge videos out? As a result, he was sent to a drug rehab program by court order, which he then escaped but was captured shortly after and sent to jail. A familiar cycle repeated itself throughout the 90s for Downey. He was being released from facilities, making movies, and then being arrested again for minor crimes or drug abuse. Tomorrow they won't clean my mind. I don't need no fucking syndication because they feel what I say is dangerous. Where does it all end? In 1996, he was infamously arrested for speeding down Sunset Boulevard in possession of cocaine, heroin, and a 357 Magnum. Downey told of his time in prison and how he was beaten by other inmates, sent to solitary confinement, and would clean pizza pans for eight cents an hour. In the year 2000, Downey was out of rehab and working on the show Ally McBeal, earning heaps of praise for his performance. Look, I am here for my own indecision, not his. How's the so sex? Excuse me? With your friend? The sex? Well, I don't care to talk about that. Ooh, is that good, huh? But he was still on a rocky path. Shortly after, he was arrested for possession, and the Ally McBeal producers had him written out of the show. 
Again, he was sent to rehab, but 2001 onwards looked brighter for Downey. He had decided to fight his addiction, and in mid-2001, he earned his first post-rehab acting job, famously lip-syncing to the song I Want Love in an Elton John music video. From there, he starred in movies like 2003's The Singing Detective and Gothica, 2005's Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and 2007's Zodiac. Do you want a drink? I don't have anything blue, but I got... Don't worry about that. Don't, don't worry about it. No bother at all. Nobody comes by from the old days. To your health. Although during this time he found insurance clauses written into his contracts due to his past addiction, his wife, Deborah Falconer, who he'd been married to since 1992, left Downey in 2004, citing his drug abuse and prison time as a strain on their relationship. What are you doing here? Good question. Now, this will sound crazy, but I don't remember precisely what occurred between the hours of 2 and 5. To me, it's kind of a blur. Really? Where's Marlea? But in 2003, during the divorce proceedings, Downey met Susan Levin, who he would later marry in 2005. And meeting Levin was integral to Downey's continued recovery, with her stating that she wouldn't marry him unless he completely kicked the drugs for good. Dramatically throwing his stash of narcotics into the ocean, this was a key part of Downey's soon-to-be gigantically successful career. There ain't no goddamn takes. There ain't no goddamn motion picture. You sure? Oh, yeah. Yeah? For certain, man. Why are you still in character? Hmm? I know, but I don't have to tell you. Building up ahead of steam towards the end of the 2000s, Downey starred in huge movies like Tropic Thunder, Sherlock Holmes, and of course, the biggest role of his career, 2008's Iron Man. What's going on here? Let's face it, this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. And as we now know, that movie spawned sequels and would eventually become the linchpin to the astronomically successful Avengers franchise. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. With his huge success, it's easy to look back at Downey Jr.'s early career and dismiss his run-ins with the law as the behavior of a typical eccentric, young, mischievous actor. But as we've just seen, it was much worse than that. If it wasn't for the support of his friends and loved ones and his own determination to get clean, Downey Jr. may very well have faded into obscurity and never shaken loose from the shackles of addiction. I hope I can inspire other people to, uh, to, to find themselves, you know? I'm still, I'm still serious, constant state of becoming. Imagine all of the amazing performances we would have missed out on, including arguably one of the greatest character interpretations of all time, Tony Stark. And I am Iron Man. And that is the tragic life of Robert Downey Jr. Take that off, what are you? Genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. He may have looked down and out throughout most of his life, but ultimately, he became the genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist we all love today. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.